And that minimum wage proposal was a key part of the president's speech last night and today. But how many people would that proposal actually affect? Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe takes a closer look for us tonight. President Obama is proposing a big increase for new federal contract employees making minimum wage. If you cook our troops meals or wash their dishes, you should not have to live in poverty. He plans to sign an executive order to raise the minimum wage from $7.25 to $10.10 an hour, but it's unknown how many people this plan will actually affect. There are 2.2 million federal contract workers overall, but about 90% already earn more than 10 10 an hour. The increase would not take effect until 2015 at the earliest, and it would only apply to new federal contracts, not existing ones. There currently are some federally contracted workers in northeast Wisconsin. 15 people are under contract to do housekeeping work at the Green Bay VA clinic. The company they work for did not want to tell us how much they make. Fox City's janitorial, a cleaning business based in Grand Chute, has been contracted to do federal work in the past. Owner Lillian Trinko pays her employees at least $9.75 an hour, but she would welcome a small boost for her employees during future federal contract work. As a company, as a owner, it would help me to provide a better service to, to my clients. Because the cleaning is not just dusting and uh, is keep people health. While many Democrats applauded the president's action, Republican House Speaker John Boehner doesn't think it will have any impact. So, uh, I think the question is how many people, Mr. President, will this uh, executive action actually help? Uh, I suspect the answer is uh, somewhere close to zero. President Obama hasn't said exactly when he will issue the executive order. During the speech, he said it will happen in the coming weeks. Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. Unions representing those federal workers have voiced support after the president's announcement, but they want more, saying that the president should now work to raise minimum wage for all federal employees.